What's up YouTube and welcome back to Scorchers Lounge and today we're going to be talking about my sneaker con pickups. Now let's get the socks out the way. So I like socks. I like different color socks and I went by one of the booths and there was this uh, two girls there just selling socks and they do them they, they like dye them themselves. And I was like, you know what? Why not support? So I'm, I'm guessing it's called Sister Aileen and Company. I have no idea where they're from. I should have got a business card, but it was on the way out, so I was already ready to go. Um, it says hand dyed socks. I'm guessing this is called Hot Cocoa. Hot Cocoa. Because that's what it says right there. So let me rip this up. And here you go. Just a little tie dye. Tie dye Nike socks. So um, they just buy Nike socks and then dye them. And then this one is more of a minty green-ish kind of thing. And this one probably did not come with this, I'm guessing. Or it must have broke off somewhere. But I don't really know the... Um... Oh, I remember. Um, she didn't pack this one up yet. I remember she got it right off the bin. So this one didn't have a tag. This one was already on display, like in the table. This one was in the bin back there. I guess it maybe probably not a lot of people wanted this color, but I don't know why she didn't have it out on display, but I saw it and I was like, yeah, I'll take these. So that's my pickup right there about the socks. And then we have the sneaker con deal or steal. So I got this from Dan underscore LA underscore. Damn, I forgot the name. But anyways, it's on the Instagram. I'll have, a, I'll have it right there probably. And um, he, he had the whole table out, a few tables. This was on display. And as you saw in the sneaker ground video, I like my old heat. Obviously, if you look at the back, I got a whole bunch of new stuff. I know y'all can't see in the size. I got new stuff that came out recently as well. I got over 400 pairs. However, I like my old heat too. You know what I'm saying? I don't... I don't want the same shit everyone got in a fee. I want the stuff that I missed out collecting when I was a young boy. So I'm a big pack collector. I know that you don't see it right here, but right there is a big shelf full of packs. So full of packs that I have about four other packs. I'm a, a matter of fact, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm show you right now. Look at all these packs, man. I got all these packs all of these packs man this whole cage look at this full of packs i ain't playing i ain't playing except for those little two boxes right there <laughs> but look full of packs man i got packs and packs but don't let that fool you look i got pack right here i got a pack right there i got another pack right there stop playing who remembers this who remembers this right here? Write down in the comment whoever knows what this box is. I'm not even going to say it. I got another pack right there. Hey, man. You know what I'm saying? And welcome back. As you saw, I have a lot of, a lot of packs. And I'm missing out of all the Jordan packs that we have. I mean, we, like if I work for them. Out of all the Jordan packs that they got, I think I'm missing like three or four total. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do the math and probably post it. I'm going to see if I can do the math now and edit it into this video. If not, you know, oh well. <laughs> but uh, let's take a look at the steal I got from Dan La Soul. There it is. Dan underscore LA underscore Soul. So here it is right here. You, If you saw the sneaker con video, you know what it is. You know what it is. But if you don't, let me show you. This is going to be my... F I didn't want to do a review of my packs until i get the whole complete pack but i figured i'd have to start a review at least with this shoe because i got it from sneaker con and um it's gonna take me a while to finish all the packs because one of the packs i'm missing is the colby jordan pack which i'm pretty sure i will never attain so that's a 80s that's a 50 40 000, i mean it's crazy those numbers are crazy so um, let me start off with this pack, which is the banger out the countdown pack. I think it was called color zone, color zone pack. And this is it right here. This is the best pack out the bunch. Okay. 
So, let's get to it, shall we? So, it's an all dark reddish and burgundy box. It got the Jordan logo right here. And then right here, it got the Jordan numbers and rumor, numeral. So it got the 3, 4, 5, 6, 17, whatever. It just got them all throughout right there. Throughout the back right here. Throughout the side. You know what I mean? Then when you get to the front of the box, you got the Jordan logo right there. And then on the very top, it says Legacy Collection by Jordan Brand. Legacy Collection. There's 11 packs of these and I got almost all of them. Now, the way this pack works is that they were building up to the Jordan 23. 23 being the big number of Jordan career because that's his number. So it was a very special number. And leading up to the release of the 23, they were dropping gems, bro. They were dropping this pack right here. And they had 11 packs. And I'm going to put them all on the screen for you. So they had the Jordan 1 with the 22. The point of the pack is that both sneakers equals 23. So 1 plus 22 is 23. Then we have 2 plus 21 is 23. Which is a great marketing. Like I don't even know who thought of it, but that was amazing marketing right there. So, um, I'll have the pictures and stuff, like I said, up. And then this pack right here. Oh, they all retailed, I believe, for 300 bucks. That's, that's, man. They all retail for 300 bucks. This pack right here, on average, on average, cost, this is the highest, um, this is the most sought after of the pack. So, on average, this pack will probably be between you know seven on a very low scale hopefully all the way to about 900 so this pack right here i got for 600 at sneaker con thanks to the boy dan lasso we uh, did a coin flip at the end you know we was teeter-tottering 650 600 we both took a gamble and i won the gamble so here it is in my collection the most sought after countdown pack aka legacy pack out of the collection the Jordan 11 and the Jordan 12 so let's get to it you slide out the box like this this box is a little beaten up you know what I mean nothing we can do about that then right when you when you take it off you're gonna have an all black box and then right here in the bottom it's gonna have your Roman numeral and it's gonna have 11 on one side and 12 on the other which is indicating what shoe is what then when you flip it open this is how it looks when you flip that open man it has Jordan right there the back of him with the Jordan jersey on 23 and on the side you have Jordan 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and then it continue on from this side, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Now, this is the Jordan 11 and 12. So let's go with the 11 because 11 number is first. Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so this is the deal. This is a size 10 and a half. This is the Jordan Bread 11, Playoffs 11, however you want to call them. Now, the one thing about this pack that was always a little weird was the quality. The quality of this pack is very mediocre. You know what I mean? But, you know, what can we do? Does tissue paper, the tissue paper alone right here, I know you can't see, I'm going to see if I can get a video of it. But it got, it's lasered with all the Jordan numbers between 1 and 22. I know it's hard to see and I'm trying my best. But you can see the prints of sneakers. Like right here. This is the Jordan 7. Going downwards. Right here is the Jordan 14. You can see the shark teeth right there. 
and the lines with the little Ferrari sign right there. Right there is the Jordan 12s. You know, I'm just going to do like this real quick and hopefully we can figure it. Well, I know I can, but I don't know the video not picking it up right. It's really hard to see, especially since this is so old. The paper been opened up and stuff for a long time and wrinkled. But yeah, man, this is the paper right here. Let me put that right there. Now, the 12, the Jordan 11s was tried on. They're still Diesto. See what I'm saying? He just tried them on. They didn't, that, the person tried them on and they didn't, they didn't, uh, buy them I guess and then the Jordan 12s is DS and then what you do you slide out you know what I mean you slide out the thing like that you open the box and here is the oh man man I'm happy I'm happy. <laughs> I am happy. Now, look. This right here is already peeling off. You know what I mean? I just took it off. Fuck it. But, uh. Yep. So. Let me get this box out the way because this pretty big <laughs> it's pretty big in the way we got the Jordan 12 taxi and then we got the Jordan 11 bread one of them I mean these are two of the most sought-after shoes in the brand you know what I mean this is where he won his championship right here with the uh, with the Jordan 11 bread 11s and it comes comes with this kind of shoe tree which is exactly what it should come with actually let me show you a comparison to the 2019 pair but wait there's more here we have the 2019 Jordan playoff aka Jordan bread 11s right now it comes with this whatever I like my receipts on my box so you can see that comes with the bag all right but now let's get to the shoe I already wore this twice already wore the shoe twice so let's get to it so this is the left shoe this is a size 11 and this is the no this is the left and this is the left okay so let me just put this shoe over here so this came with your cardboard shoe trees and then the 2012 pair or 2013 pair came with the plastic like this and um, the 2019 pair came with it as well now there's a difference between the two quality the 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 cut the materials is all a little different so this is the low i mean wow you can even tell the difference even though it's only a half size bigger you could tell the difference already but this is the 2019 pair and you can see how much space it is between the tongue i mean the tongue yeah the tongue and the and the toe cap right there then it got the little widow's peak you know what i'm saying now when you look at the back, it's a way higher cut, just like the OG. Look, you got the Jordan emblem going a different direction. I remember that was a big thing back in the days too. <laughs> Man, this is this is crazy. And you can even tell the difference in the leather. I mean, look at this leather when I push it in and do like this, and then look at this. This is real stiff, hard leather. Look, this is probably about to start cracking right here. Right under the two little legs. They're about to start cracking, I think. But anyways, they're more of a collection piece. I, I probably won't wear the 11s because I got these. But I'm definitely going to wear these 12s. <sighs> so now that the Jordan 11s is out the way, let's go to the Jordan 12s. This is your traditional OG Jordan 12 Taxi, which is all black in the bottom black midsole black outsole it has your white leather upper and this is more of a tumble type leather it has plastic gold plated eyelets right there it got your red 23 right there and 
You got your little hit of taxi right here on the, on the sole. You got your taxi square with the red jump man right there. Now, one other thing that's unique about this whole pack. This whole pack, except I believe the Jordan 1s, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this whole pack got special insoles, baby. Uh, man, a lot of dust in here. This whole pack got special insoles. This is the insole for the Jordan 12 taxi. And right there in Roman numeral, it has the Jordan logo. It has 1985, it has 23, and then 2008, because 85 to 2008 is 23. And then right here on the Jordan Bread 11s, they also have the same exact insole. It don't matter the shoe. Every insole, except the Jordan 1, if I'm not mistaken, every insole has that stitch patch right there. So that is like, like if anyone if anyone is trying to sell you a countdown pack or something, or they're trying to tell you, oh yeah, this is from the countdown pack. That's why I don't have a box or you know some shit like that. All the countdown pack, that whole legacy pack, all of it has that red patch, except I believe the Jordan ones. So that is your review of the oh my bad on the tongue which i already know all this already but you know i didn't say it on the tongue it has the two three on the tongue coming down and then right here on the top i got the black Jumpman logo and on the heel that i also forgot to mention it says quality inspired by the best basketball player ever well does it say basketball no but and and quality inspired by the greatest player ever so yeah man i mean this was a big come up um not a big come up, but uh, this was a good deal. This was a very good deal. I'm pleased with the deal. The me and the guy did a good job working it out. Um, yeah, these Jordan 11s was uh, well, that's this is my pair. My bad. <laughs> oh snap! Hold on. The carbon fiber on this one, not well. It is bigger, but it's like checkered, more of a dark gray and light gray. And then this one. It's more of a dark gray and gray. So that's another thing on the um, carbon fiber. But yeah, I mean, look at this. This guy just tried it on, probably walked around the house a little bit. I mean, you know, nothing major. I mean, there's no wrinkles on a patent leather. So he probably, whoever tried this on was probably just Instagram flexing or something like that because this is clean. <laughs> but anyways, I got a good deal out of this. So I'm very, very happy. But uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe i will be doing more of the legacy pack which is the ones you just saw i will be doing more probably i'll probably do like one a week how that sound if you guys want one a week of the of the pack or two a week that's the max <laughs> two no you know what yeah i'll probably do once a week you know what i'll do once a week unless y'all convince me otherwise in the comments to do type the number two if you want me to do two a week but from now unless i get persuaded by you guys i'm gonna just do one a week um of the jordan pack right here um i also got a lot more packs i mean like i just showed you earlier i mean i have hella packs so um this is the jordan bread 11 2019 the jordan bread 11 2008 countdown pack the jordan 12 taxi countdown pack i'm very pleased thanks a lot dan lasso for the hookup and the coin flip, go watch that sneaker con video so you can see what I'm talking about if you haven't already. Also, still go watch it. It was math fun. Um, very busy. You know what I'm saying? I did not expect to see and like, I was overwhelmed. It was it was a lot. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of interactions. A lot of networking. Um, with steals and deals. I was there because my homie Salute My Kicks had me with the vendor pass because he's a vendor. So he hooked me up with the vendor passes. So I had access to everyone from 5 a.m. 5 a.m. I was allowed to be there. I didn't have to wait in line. I just show my vendor pass like this or on my phone. I walk right through, kind of like Remy Ma, walk around the <laughs> So um, 
Yeah, man, it was mad fun. I'm, I want to do it again. I, I, if they come to New York or somewhere kind of close, I will definitely do it again. Definitely going to bring my mic. You know what I'm saying? That was very fun. Getting interviews and seeing what the people want. However, there was very, very, very little bit of people with old banging ass heat, man. Everyone had the Amaminier, the Travis, the Off-White. We had that one bull with the red boots, um, the mischief boots. What else? Uh, pandas, oh, pandas galore, pandas galore too. I did see some Philly dunks, that was cool. I did see a few people with some old school stuff, like I showed you in that video that came out a few days ago. We had the Ray Allen PE. He had the twenty one red suede, which was beautiful. Um, I did see somebody with the 94 bread. I did see some bread ones. I did see someone with like, uh, damn, I don't know if it was 94 or 9, or I don't know if it was 94 or 85 Chicago ones because I couldn't catch them in time. But I was going to interview them to see what, what it was. But it, it was fun, man. And I was looking like for old heat, you know, so it's like I, I, I wanted the countdown pack. I was looking for it for a while. I found it. I know I'm blabbling, 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 but man, it was so much fucking fun. I'm definitely going to do it again. Shout out to my camera guy. He looked out heavy. I didn't even know I needed a camera guy, bro. He was coming just for the fun. And I was like, yo, you think you could just be my, my you know, I didn't even say be my camera. I said, you think you could take some shots for me and shit? And then he ended up being my cameraman. He did a fucking great job, man. So shout out to my camera guy. Shout out to me because, you know, I'm conceited a little bit. <laughs> shout out to you guys because, yo, when I was posting those little shorts in that video, I gained about like 25 followers in like two days. So I was like, wow, man, that's what's up, man. I'm going to put out more shorts, you know, tease you guys a little bit. But thanks to guys a lot. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And don't forget to share to all your old heads who need this pack. Also, Scorchers underscore lounge is all my socials. That is my at at all my socials. Um, I will have I will have a logo coming soon. Probably a little t-shirt, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey man, this is growing. I love it. I love what I'm doing. It's mad fun. Thanks to you guys. Until next time. Peace out.